All right, we're going to uh, do the full Raw report later on, but the big story coming out of the show, obviously, is that however everything started and whatever happened on Friday, this is 100% an angle at this point, this Raw it's 100%, Cody Rhodes. 100% work. It's been 100% work dating back for a while. Um, you know, here's the thing, okay? And and uh, it'll all play out on Thursday, however it plays out. But the, the thing is, is the... Um, I, I went, whenever I was trying to find out what was going on, the one question that nobody could answer for me was, why did Cody Rhodes win the Royal Rumble? Because it's like, well, if he wasn't going to wrestle, if Rock was going to wrestle against um, Roman Reigns and Punk was going to wrestle against Seth Rollins, where does Cody fit in? I mean, he's not going to not be on the card. He was the top, you know, of the full-time wrestlers in the company. Cody was number one for the last year. I mean, he was pushed the most. He never lost. I mean, it was very clear they were building something big. The only, I mean, he lost to, to Roman at WrestleMania. That's like his only singles loss that I can even recall. And but but you know, headlined all the house shows until you know Seth won that world title, and then Seth would headline the house shows. But Cody was the number two guy, and really the you know, Cody was probably a bigger star than than Seth for most of the year, if not the entire year. And, you know, how do you go to WrestleMania and you have him win the Rumble if there's not a big plan for him? And, you know, the idea, I mean, it's pretty clear the idea somehow is to, um, you know, I mean, I was told, you know, the Daniel Bryan thing. So, I mean, this thing, um, you know, exactly what it was, it, it you know, uh, wh- you know, again, why would he have won the Royal Rumble? Why wouldn't, why didn't Punk win the Rumble? You know, I mean, the idea for or Punk, anybody. Yeah, well, I mean, the idea for Punk is that Punk was going to win the Elimination Chamber, and and that's how that was going to work. Um, Obviously, it feels like to me watching the show that they're going to have a men's Elimination Chamber with Sami Zayn and Drew McIntyre as two of the guys, and I'm sure there'll be some others, um, because Sami Zayn's all of a sudden talking about the world title, and Drew McIntyre is all over everything. You know, on every show, he's in there with the top guys. So he can't be like sitting there doing nothing at WrestleMania either. So so um you know, um it's uh I mean I guess we have to watch it all play out, but um yeah, I mean like when when Logan Paul like starts with the hashtag, which was right away or pretty pretty quick, it was like, Okay, you know, they're promoting this hashtag. And then Pat McAfee just opens the show with the hashtag and they got all those signs that they're well, focusing on. Well, even before on. tonight, I mean, they had planted signs at the NXT show. Yeah. And, you know, they Michael Cole's talking about it here, that we really, we really want Cody to finish his story. I mean, the only thing I can figure out here is their plan was to get The Rock hated. Like, that I don't know. That's his plan. His well, final think, match ever at WrestleMania, his plan was to just be the biggest heel in wrestling. I think because I, don't I mean know. he's been booed everywhere. House shows, NXT shows. Yeah, Ava but, Ava apparently has gotten death threats, like legitimate death threats, where they're yeah. actually investigating. I know, that's ridiculous. They're booing him out of the building on Raw. I mean, this Maybe. was part of his brilliant plan to be hated. I mean, I don't know. I don't. Well, we'll find out Thursday. But um, you know, I mean, he's he's obviously somewhat the heel. But at the same time, I was, I guess the term is, I was surprised that that when they tried the you know um, the negative chance, you know, uh, on on Rock, that people and you know, it you know that you could hear them, but they weren't loud, and you could tell it was very few people, and most of the people didn't join in at all. So I thought that that was for something that's, you know, that big when Cody and Seth are in the ring and they're they're expecting it. And, you know, Seth goes, oh, I never expected to hear that. But it really wasn't. And like even and that's supposed to encourage it. And it was like the people were super behind Cody, but they didn't really it wasn't, you know, like they didn't join in the way I expected them to. And I think the way based on how that interview was scripted, how they expected it either. But it was enough that it wasn't an embarrassment. But I thought that was kind of interesting. But there's some people, like there's people who are super passionate about it, without a doubt, going crazy about it. The death threats are just way off the pale. But um, I don't know. It doesn't feel like, like there's certainly a, an audience that hates it. But, you know, there was 10,000 10, people. You know, and here's the other thing, too. It's like 
whatever they're doing, it's sure working because like tonight's show, um, just a couple days ago, they had like 7,600 tickets out. There were over 10,000 people there tonight. I mean, you don't move that many tickets fr from Friday to Monday ever. So whatever it is, people are buying this thing. They are paying to see it. Um, you know, I think that there's going to be a ton of people at that T-Mobile on Thursday. And, you know, if they boo him or cheer him, you know, and the th here's the deal with him. He doesn't care if he's booed or cheered. I promise you, he doesn't care. His his validation is based on purely one thing, and that's box office. That's purely revenue. That's it. I mean, I, I know, you know, like, boo, cheer, whatever. It's like, did it, did it, did it draw a sellout, you know, which this was going to draw a sellout either way. But as far as is the interest level in the product up? And if the interest level in the product's up, then, you know, that would be, you know, I mean, that's that's the goal. The goal at the end of the day is interest in the product. And however it is, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, Birmingham, you know, I mean, I mean, whatever. I mean, Birmingham really doesn't count so much because people didn't know he was going to be there. But this one, this one counts. And it's like they sold a lot of tickets at the end. And that's uh, that's telling people, I mean, there's certainly no boycott here. And, um you know, there's certainly no lack of interest in this WrestleMania. That's for sure. So, All right, so the Raw show opens up with Seth coming down to the ring. And he says, wow, look at that. I got a pop. And he says, I saw what happened on SmackDown. As soon as he said SmackDown, everybody starts booing. And there were signs, we won Cody, fire well, Dwayne. Well, I mean, the one, the one thing was right at the beginning, uh, Pat McAfee goes and does the hashtag. Yes, he did. I mean, the first thing he says practically on the whole show. So it's like, that's the thing. And there's doing all the camera close-ups of all the signs. Yes. And the signs were all in the same font. How is that happening? <laughs> well, you know, big, there big There were families. hundreds of them. There are hundreds families of them, and they're all in the same. They're all the, in the same font and look similar. It's incredible. Like, all of these people, independent of each other, all, when they made their sign, made them almost identical. Yes. That is uh, just... I mean, what are the odds of that? Apparently pretty high because I saw it. <laughs> My own two eyes. Yeah. Seth says, sounds like you guys won Cody. Well, he says, I won Cody too. The fans booed yep. Seth versus Cody. He said, I got questions for him, so please come down. This is when the announcers again plug the We Won Cody hashtag. So Cody says, what do you want to talk about? Fans chant Rocky sucks. Well, at least they didn't chant "Die Rocky Die." We don't have no, that. No, it, it was just Rocky. It was Ro it was Rocky sucks. Yeah, we won Cody chance. Rocky sucks chance. Seth says, "Listen, I'm going to cut to the chase. I know what you're going through, but I need answers. This is the most prestigious title in WWE. I stand by that." Fans and good. they booed that one too. He says, "If I'm being honest, I need this match as much as you do." They booed again. Yeah. He said, "I need to know if I'm better than you. The only way to prove that." is to beat you because you're the best. So cut the crap. Are you going to fight me at WrestleMania? Fans boo. They're chanting no, no, no. <laughs> so out comes Drew McIntyre. And he says, I speak on behalf of everybody. What the hell? I set you guys both up for WrestleMania. You're both screwing it up. I took out Punk. He says, Seth, it was supposed to be me and you at WrestleMania. Fans cheered. <laughs> okay, let's do that one. He said, I even had a t-shirt commission for us. It was a drawing of punk mocking or drew mocking punk's grave and he says a, a wrestlemania grave yeah he says cody you got to finish your story you've been talking about it for two years don't let the people down your family down and don't uh, let dusty down i don't want to bring it up he says because everyone else does but don't let your father down i remember when cody used to say i don't ever want people using dusty's name and angles and here we are and Seth says, you don't have to be a prick about it. I mean, it's like every week. He says, listen, we've done this twice, Drew, and you lost both times. And Drew says, well, yeah, but you lost to this guy three times. <laughs> Drew's gimmick of only, always telling the truth is the greatest. Yeah. But it makes it virtually impossible to actually boo the guy. He has to keep doing horrible things to get booed. Well, he did, it, he did attack a one-legged guy. He did. 
So uh, he says it's time for Drew McIntyre to take it from here. He headbutts Seth. Cody jumps him, clears the ring. I mean, they immediately play Cody's music. They're not going to let him answer here on this show. No, 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 no. Everything's on. Everything's on Thursday. So Thursday is the big day where we find out, in the words of Drew McIntyre, what the hell. Yeah. I mean, it's really interesting because because late in the show, when they talk about Thursday, Michael Cole goes, is it, you know, it looks like it's going to be uh, Roman Reigns and The Rock and Cody and Seth. So as soon as I said that, he said that it's like, there's no way that's what it's going to end up being. Because he, if, that, if that was the case, you wouldn't say it. Well, not to mention, let's say, Dave, that it is The Rock and Roman Reigns and Cody and Seth. Yeah. The fuck do we need a men's elimination chamber for? The only among, reason you need a uh, men's among, elimination chamber is yeah. if Seth doesn't have an opponent. Right, and why would Sami Zayn be doing promo talking about how he's going to, you know, he needs to show that he can win the world title. Exactly, and you've got you've got Drew. So I don't know what they're going to do with Cody, but it sounds like it's going to either be a three-way or some sort of tournament situation. Yeah. Although that would require Roman working twice. I'm not crossing my fingers on that one. Yeah. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.